How you doing, Wendy? You there? Yeah, I'm here. I don't know what I was doing. I couldn't see any of the comments or I, mean, I could see you talking, yeah. but I, I couldn't even comment to you. It was so strange. Oh, wow, wow. Yeah. How you doing? I'm pretty good. I feel How weird being on this side of the screen. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> How's it's going? cold here. How about you? No, it's not too cold down here, man. It's, um, I think it's going to be about 80 degrees today. And then after what? that, after today, it's going to taper down to about around 60s. It'll be. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's like 50 here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm not digging it. <laughs> so, what's going on? Nothing much. Uh, just working, you know. Just working. Yeah. Try, trying to get things yeah, to come together. Just. That's, oh, that's sorry it. about that. Yeah. Hit the wrong button. So, everyone, if you <laughs> haven't um, seen my lives before, uh, this is Wendy. She's a personal trainer, actually a fitness studio owner in Ohio. Am, am I correct? Yep. Ohio. Uh, well, don't Ohio. Yeah. She's joining to me. Joining with me today. We're going to discuss the difference between fat loss and weight loss. And why you shouldn't be looking at the scale, you should be watching your body fat percentage. Right. All right. right. You going like to start? <laughs> I can start. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. care. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so we both do this all the time. So anyways, uh, fat loss versus weight loss. Um, as everybody knows, everyone looks for what the scale says. Uh, they get all excited. They come in and they jump on the scale. They're like, ooh, I lost eight pounds this week. Um, and usually, like, in the first week, that's all water weight. Uh, after that, you start losing um, losing the weight. However, like, two or three weeks later, the girls will come in and they'll get on the scale. And they'll go, why am I gaining weight when they're lifting? And when I try to explain to them... Um, when you're lifting, you're gaining muscle, and they're like, "What? Well, I don't want to get bulky." It's like you're not going to get bulky. You're not going to get bulky unless you do specific things. But um, basically, muscle is a pound is a pound. People say, "Well, muscle weighs more." You know, no, it doesn't. A pound is a pound. Doesn't matter if it's muscle or fat. Um, so you get a, a pound of picture a pound of butter, and you know that's a pound. And a pound of muscle that's fat. And a pound of muscle is like this. So you could be gaining weight and muscle and still losing weight and fat and come up thinner, healthier, toner, better looking in the end. So you want to, and we want to add anything to that part of it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, actually, yeah, yeah, you will. Um, as you build muscle, the more muscle you build, the more fat your body burns and the muscle helps keep, keep the fat off. So um, normally what I tell my clients is not to focus on the scale number, focus on your body fat percentage. If your body fat percentage yeah. is coming down, that means you're going in the right direction. And also look at, uh, if you're losing inches, if, if your clothes are fitting better, because, um, there's a lot of times a person could be 120 pounds, uh, let's say 150 pounds, um, when they start and they reach a and then six months later, they'll still be 150 pounds, but their body composition has changed and they look 100% better than they did when, when they first started. That's because they were eating correctly, they were adding resistance training in, and that was building muscles, changing their body composition, uh, making them firmer and, and tighter, you know? Yes. So. Right. Right. And, you know, I have a lot of people, sometimes they'll come in and after they'll get disgusted after about two months, they're like, well, I'm not losing any more weight, you know, and then they'll want to quit. And I'm like, come over here and then I'll grab the tape measure and redo their measurements. I'm like, you know, since two weeks ago, you're down another five inches. Your pants are falling off of you. Why are you not happy? You know, but people are so focused on that number on the scale, because when you go to the doctor, they put you on the scale and they say, guess what? This is what you're supposed to weigh. And if you don't weigh this, then you're obese. That's and it's crazy because they're not taking crazy. into the fact that you're, you know, you got the, the three, the sonotypes, the body types. You know, you, you've got the ectomorph. You've got that person that's naturally lean and thin and everybody wants to be like them, except for them who are sitting there going, damn it, why can't I gain any muscle? You know, because <laughs> it's really hard for them. 
you know, but they, but they lose weight so quickly and they're thin. They're just naturally thin. Yeah. And then you've got your, your mesomorph and they're more like, you know, your pear shaped girls or, you know, it's a little harder for them to lose weight. Um, you know, they're more on the, you know, they, they can, how can I say this? Help me out here. Will. <laughs> They, they 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 do lose weight. It's it's harder for them. They have to watch the carb intake, but yes. it's not too bad. Um, and then you've got your endomorphs, and those are people um, like lucky me. You know, you've got your you've got your medium frame, your uh, thin frame, your medium frame, or your bigger frame. Those are the bigger frame people. Those are the you know the girls, the guys at the gym that you see that are lifting. You know, picking up two hundred pounds, lifting over the head like it's nothing. Yes. You know, but it's harder for them. Like with me, I have to watch like every carb I put in my body. I, you know, it's really hard for us to lose weight, but we're extremely strong. So you know, but anyways, um, you have to take a look at that too. I mean, when I weigh when I weigh like say one sixty, when I weigh that, and you've got a nectomorph that weighs one sixty. I look very thin. They'll look really fat. So you can't go by what the scale says. I could be five foot seven, one sixty, you know, ectomorph five foot six, one sixty, and they look like they're just like blah. And you know, I'll be all boof, you know, puffed up and and bulky and muscular. So really ripped. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you can't get focused on that scale at all. Yep, yep. You gotta you gotta how you feel inside your body too. I mean uh, the scale may say one thing and your doctor will tell you, you got to be down to 135 and, you know, at 145, you're so sickly looking and, you know, you, you just can't, you know. Actually for my, um, I think for my height and uh, age, they're, they're saying I'm supposed to be at 175 and I would look yeah, right. thick. <laughs> when you were what, 16? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So that's, you tell them your bones and muscle weigh that? <laughs> exactly, bone, muscle, and water. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. It. It's crazy the, the numbers that they give you. And did, does everybody know? Does everybody understand the numbers that the doctors have and the insurance agents have are not the same numbers? No, if you I go to the think. insurance agent, yeah. If you go to the doctor, you could be obese. If you go to the insurance company, it'll be something completely different. And then the numbers that we learn, you know, Bill and I learn, yeah. are even completely different than that yeah. because we're working with muscle and we understand body fat and, you know, the different types of bodies. They're going off of your five foot seven, you know, this is your, your age. This is what you should weigh, period. They're not taking into effect, you know, your, your muscles, your, your build, you know, are you the ectomorph, the mesomorph or the endomorph? Um, they're not taking into, or do you work out, do you not work out, any kind of conditions that you have at all. They're just saying, you know, you're 45, you're five foot seven, you're a guy, this is how much you weigh, period. And it's wrong. It's it's really wrong. It really, they really should be going off of your body fat. Yeah, totally wrong. And also, like, if you look at a, a runner's body, um, someone who's, who runs all the time, doesn't do any kind of strength training, always on a treadmill or out running marathons, and you look at a sprinter body or an athlete's body, it's, it's totally different. They could be the same weight, but it's, it's totally different, and it, it comes with uh, what kind of exercises they are do they're doing um, for themselves. So a runner is just running. They're doing cardio all the time. So they're just burning calories, burning calories, burning calories. Um, a, a athlete, they're also running, but they're – most of them are doing like sprints, um, interval training, strength training. So instead of just uh, losing weight and um, instead of just losing weight, they're also building muscle too. So they're, they're doing both. They're, they're, they're losing fat, fat and building muscle instead of than just losing weight, which could be muscle. So you could be losing weight and you're losing, you're using, you're losing fat, losing some water and you're losing muscle too. And, you don't want to lose muscle. You want to gain muscle. Like I said earlier, muscle helps you burn burn the fat in your body. So that's what you want to do. You want to eventually build muscle. Yeah, it's like it's like ten percent more when you got a, a muscle, a pound of muscle. Like ten percent more, your metabolism keeps going. Um, the more muscular you are. Yes, yes, it is. I didn't mean to cut you off. <laughs> you fine, you fine, you fine. <laughs> I was done. I was done. 
Uh, do we have any questions? Uh, anybody want to chime in or have any questions about anything? I see we only have a couple people on. People are jumping in on and off. Uh, no questions today. Um, anything, anything else you want to add, Wendy? Yeah, I do. I do for the women out there and some of the men too. Yes. There is no such thing called spot reducing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you can't, I get the girls in there all the time. You know, I want to do the abs. I want to do the abs. I want to do the abs. I want my abs. And I'm like, no, you want the core. And by the way, that right there that you're talking about, we need to talk about your kitchen. Yeah. So, yeah. So you, there is no spot reducing. It's overall reducing. Usually the way, um, at least in my experience with people with uh, weight loss and extreme weight loss too, you start, you see it in the, the face first, yes. then it comes down, you see a cart start coming here and then you hear the, the women go, oh my God, not my boobs. <laughs> and then it stops because they're like all excited, like there goes my stomach now. And it stops right below your boobs. And then it'll start coming up from the bottom and it'll keep coming up, coming up, come up. The last thing to always go is right around the hips and the gut. Yes, that's your, the, your stomach's the last thing to always go. And oh, women, there's a reason why our our butts are bigger than guys. <laughs> and it's a it's old school. It's a survival thing. We carry the weight because we are the ones that have the babies. And if anything happens, we need to have the fat storage. So it sucks, but it is what it is. It's it's survival of the fittest. And uh, yeah, there's no spot reducing. If you have... If you've got wide hips and a butt, actually that's in right now, so <laughs> that's good to go. But <laughs> but you know you can gain muscle when you're when you're uh, thinner and and get a nice firm round butt. But if you've got that, but I mean the only thing you can do is keep dieting down till it possibly goes away. It, but there is no I'm going to do you know, ab exercise and leg lifts and blah, 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 trying to get rid of it. You just have to do, you watch your diet. It's basically what it boils down to. Yes, that, that, that's exactly what it boils down to, watching your diet. And um, as far as that that goes, a lot of people think that they can just, uh, okay, so I'm trying to diet, so I just won't eat. Or I yeah. just, won't, or I just uh, eat a bunch of vegetables or, or, or lettuce or something like that. But, um, if you don't know how to diet or I really don't even like to say diet, I just, uh, just change your eating habits. If you don't really don't know how to change your eating habits, you should talk to someone who does because, uh, I mean, it's, it's really a, a science to it. Um, you can break it down. Uh, if you're following like the macros, um, um, protein, carbs, and fats, there's a certain amount you, you should be eating a day to just sustain yourself. There's a certain amount that you should be eating a day to gain muscle, and there's a certain amount you should be eating a day to lose fat. So, uh, so if you don't know that, then you need to talk to someone who does because there's a lot of diets and fads out here that people are doing that's it's helping them lose weight in the short term, but in the long term, it's really hurting them. So you need to be mindful of what you're doing just because it's a fad and everyone else is doing it doesn't mean it's the healthiest thing. Mm -hmm. A lot of this, a lot of these stuff out here are just to get your money. Um, and uh, to get you to do it so they can get your money is uh, a lot of stuff is all about commerce. So you need to talk to someone who knows what they're doing and can point you in the right direction. When it comes right. To yeah. Yeah. That, that's really important. Listen to them people. Cause I tell you what, I have people all the time, they'll come into the gym and they'll be like, you know, oh, I'm doing the keto diet. And I'm like, well, did you talk to me first? And they're like, oh, well, my friend lost a lot of weight on it. And the next thing I know, they're sick. I mean, you can literally get, lose your hair, pancreatitis. Yeah. There's a rash that you can get. There's all kinds of side effects to the keto diet. Um, the side effects, unless you're going into a show and you want to be completely ripped, you still need to talk to somebody, you know, get the, get the exactly what you're supposed to be doing. Not this, Oh, I'm just going to guess at it and just eat a bunch of meat and cheese. That's not what it's all about. Um, it's not the Atkins diet. Like people say, Oh, it's the Atkins diet. It's not the Atkins diet. It's different. And, uh, you know, there are other ones out there too. If you eat way too much protein, 
you know, let's look on the keto diet. If you sit there and you go, I'm just going to eat protein because there's zero carbs. Great. Guess what? Protein is horribly hard on your kidneys. If you have any problems with your kidneys, you know, you can, you can have them shut down or have a problem. And then you're really, really, I mean, you want to talk about, oh, I feel bad because I'm fat. You know, how about you feel bad because now you're on dialysis? Exactly. You know, you have to really be careful what you're doing. Yes. You know, it's to spend the money. Your body's worth it. You'll go out and you'll spend $350, $450 a month on a car. Spend the money on your body. Well, well, you know, you are thing. worth it. Yeah, yeah, it's horrible. I see people all the time. I don't have that kind of money. Hi, Don. <laughs> My husband's leaving for work. <laughs> Um, you know, they'll say, I don't have the, I don't have the money. I don't, you know, this, this is, you know, if you're too expensive, I'm like, he just drove in on a Lexus, your fingernails are this long and done by a professional. Your hair is done different colors. You've got gold hanging off of you. What are you talking about? You know, but they don't want to spend themselves the money on themselves. And it's a shame, you know, because then they go off and on these different tangents trying to do things and they'll never get happy and they'll never be where they want to be. Just so find somebody that you click with, talk to them, stick with it. You know, if it's not working, you can always switch, but don't be bouncing around on, I'm going to keto this, I'm going to go over to this person, and now I'm going to try yoga, now I'm going to try this. Find something, you, somebody you click with. That's key. Yes. You won't do it if you don't like the person, put it that way. <laughs> and, and if you don't yeah. know what you're doing. So, you know, I mean, there's a bunch of different uh, exercise programs out there that you can try and do um, is just what you like. Um, and the more you like, the more you'll be able to, to do it or the more you'll be excited to do it. And it will limit your chance of uh, quitting. So that's, um, that's very essential. <laughs> that's very essential. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, do we have any more questions? How you doing, Katrina? What's up, sis? Uh, I can't see any of these people. <laughs> can't see any no. <laughs> we got about three people on. Well, people are jumping on and off. So, uh, any questions? Also, uh, just know that uh, your body is the only place you have to live in for the rest of your life. So, you want to invest in your body. You want to be as healthy as possible. You want to be moving around. It helps you live longer and it gives you a better quality of life. Who wants to live until 80 or 90 years old and they're on 20 different medications? They're sick all the time, in and out of the hospital, um, have different chronic diseases. Not saying that eating healthy and working out is gonna stop everything, um, every disease or sickness, but it'll give you a, a better chance of not, not having it. So you want to invest in your body, you know what I mean? Invest in your nutrition, invest in working out. Um, like I said, it's the only place you have to live for the rest of your, for the rest of your life. So that should be your biggest investment in yourself and in your body. Yep. Mind, body, food, everything, not, not just fitness, everything, you know, anything that is external that's hitting you, it's hitting your insides too. So, you know, the music you listen to, the the TV yes. shows you watch. I don't even. I I have everyone's big old chunky TVs. I don't. I don't even watch TV. You know, I don't even know if it works. To tell you the truth, <laughs> it's in the front room. I don't watch it. You know, it's all garbage going into your head. Yeah. You know, I got better things to do with with my day than that. But um, yeah, yeah. Everything you eat, you know, you got you got to know what you're eating, and um, it all goes down to the cel uh, cellular level. Um. I, here, here's another thing, just real quick. People will come in and they'll, you know, step on the scale because, you know, I, I kind of like track in the first like three weeks while they're there, like almost like every day to see if they're staying on schedule and understanding what food does to your body. And they'll come in and they'll be like, step on the scale and they'll go up like, you know, five, six pounds. And they'll be like, well, I don't understand. I only had like a half a Subway sandwich. And I'm like, so you ate processed meat white bread, you know, what God knows, soybean oil, whatever was in their dressing they put on it. Yeah. And I have to remind them that this all goes down right into your cells and those chemicals and that the, the regular table salt is processed, you know, it's processed with chemicals and, and chlorine. Um, 
And it, it basically your cells grab onto that and then they snag the water and they retain all the water from it. It's, you know, you can't even wait for 72 hours after that. I tell them just go do the workout, see you in, you know, three days, we'll weigh back in. But, you know, you really have to know what food does to your body. Yeah. Yeah, you really do. Uh, yep. So that's, um, that's about it. We have any more questions? See how many people we have on. We have about three people on right now. Um, no more questions. Um, also, I had uh, someone ask about uh, your water recipe. Um, I don't. I don't know if you posted it in one of the other videos. Oh, the the f infused water. Yes. Yeah, I posted it below. You want me to post it below this one too? Please, if you could. If you could. Yeah. Yeah, I will. <laughs> And, and and also also um, I have a PDF uh, that I just put together. I will post it below the five fat loss secrets that they don't want you to know about. So you guys can uh, grab that. It's totally free. You can go ahead. Um, you know, be sent to your email. You can. I know what they are because I downloaded them. <laughs> <laughs> you want to read it, guys? It's good. It explains a few things. <laughs> yeah. it'll, it'll, it'll give you a, a basic um, and um, and a starting point. So. If you're looking to start your journey, you can uh, go ahead and download that, and that will help you out a little bit. Um, you have anything else? No, nope, that's it. I just want to be where you're at, where it's 80 degrees. Yeah, that's that's oh, today. Oh. After today, that's over with. <laughs> yeah, after oh, you're having our yesterday. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I figured the, the, you know, the hurricane coming up would bring us some warm weather, but no, it got really cold. It was, I mean, it dropped. We I think it was like eighty five, almost ninety yesterday. And it's fifty today. Okay, okay, yeah. I think it'll probably be around here, around fifty and sixty um, after today. So it'll be officially, um, it'll be officially fall, my favorite season. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know, I always say if I have to put on more than a tank top, pair of shoes, and flip flops. Is no good. <laughs> hey, you always can get warm. This has can. got to go. <laughs> I understand. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. All right. Um, Wendy, thank you for coming on again. Uh, I guess we'll be doing another live here pretty soon. We don't know exactly what day yet, but we'll announce that we'll be doing another, another live pretty soon. And if you guys have any questions or any topics you want us to discuss, please put it in the comment section. Also, if you found value in this video, please like it and share it. Um, pretty sure other people will find value in it. So please do that for us, please. And um, we'll get with you guys next time. You guys have a good day. Thanks again, Wendy. Bye, Will. <laughs>